Hey guys, today we'll be looking at how to identify fraudulent emails. So today we have here a fraudulent email from fake Netflix. So first thing, what you want to do is check the sender. This here says Netflix, but then if you go here, you can actually see the address is definitely not Netflix. It says Netflix in the name, but it's netflix.ssl.co.uk. And as we know, Netflix brings you to netflix.com. So netflix.com, that's netflix.com. So that's one thing you see that URL mismatch. Another thing I go to is I like to check the links. So if I scroll through the page, I highlight continue. If you can see, there's a long URL there that is definitely not netflix.com. So it's eng-netflix.co.uk and etc etc. Third thing I notice is if there are other links on the page, they're really inconsistent with the other links that you'll see. So here you can see eng-netflix.co.uk. Here this link points to preview.create send1.com slash some gibberish. This one does the same thing, that one does the same thing. Oh no, this one says forward to my friend.com. This right here says update my profile.com and this here says google.com. Hmm. Now that's weird. So those are the quickest ways to identify a fraudulent email. But let's say it passes those checks. Next thing you want to do is don't click the link. Always go find a Netflix support or whichever support for the fraudulent email stated company. So here, find Netflix Help Center. If you want, you can call them up and say, hey, you know, I just want to inquire about um, the thing you sent me in the email number 89743. They're usually going to say no because it's fake. And that's how you'll know. And just for fun, just for you guys, I'm going to click continue just to see where it leads me. All right. This is a interesting Netflix site. It looks legit, but it's definitely not. If I go up just a little bit, you're going to notice the URL up here is really, really long. And I'm going to take that compared to this right here. So this is the real Netflix, short URL Netflix.com. If I go to the Netflix official sign-in, you're going to get this. If I highlight the links, you're going to notice down there, they all go to Netflix, Netflix, and Netflix. All right. If I go to the fake page, I'm going to see that weird really long URL, that weird really long URL, and that weird really long URL, all which obviously do not go to Netflix.com. So let's uh, do some fun stuff. All right. So I typed into the fake Netflix, a fake user ID and password, and I got here. It says you got to update your billing information. So, you know, let's play along, guys, uh, just for the heck of it. So I'll call myself Edward the Hacker. And then my address is 171234th Street. And I'm going to put myself in Thousand Oaks, uh, 91320, State, California. My mobile number, I represent the 805, 805 220 no, 2222 This is randomly. I'm going to put in my social security number. This is a red flag, guys. If they ever ask you for your social security number, don't freaking put it in. But you know what? Just for the purposes, I'm going to entertain you guys. Alright, and then it says your date of birth. You know, that's a deadly combination. They already got you through there. So I'm going to put in my fake date of birth. I'm going to update my billing address now. Oh, shoot. Snap. They got me here. Validate your payment information. All right. So what was my name? Edward the Hacker. All right. And my account number is a bunch of gibberish uh, stuff. Expiration dates and security code. Update. All right. Okay. They don't have any validation. <laughs> but I guess they have a fake credit card num uh, from uh, Edward the Hacker now. So I guess I can continue to log in. 
And hey, look, you know the funny part is, after all of this, it brought me to the real Netflix website. But hey, um, I'm just taking you through a fishing expedition and telling you what you have to do. So one, definitely check the sender. Don't just trust that it's Netflix. Check the whole uh, sender address. So as you can see here, check the whole sender address. Number two, highlight the links to make sure they go to where they're supposed to be. Remember what the actual uh, URL is for the site. And when in doubt, just call customer support. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching.